welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while. Yeah, I'm back and it is almost the first of no not the first of November, the first of December on Sunday. It's currently Friday. So I thought we could do the Christmas decorations together this weekend because um I've actually not got around to doing them yet and I'm usually a girl who has her decorations up mid-November but I've had a lot going on and I've just not got round to it so we're going to do it today we're going to get the tree out we're going to switch the autumn for Christmas I'm actually really excited I think we'll pop on a Christmas film in the background whilst we do it and then I think we'll probably treat ourselves to a takeaway tonight as well because it is Friday and I used to always have the tradition of um, putting up the Christmas decorations and getting a takeaway in the evening with my at my family home and I always remember X Factor being on as well because it was always like a Saturday night X Factor was the thing back in the day which isn't even on anymore but I need to get everything out from under the bed because that is where I store the Christmas trees and most of the decor there might some be some in the cupboard as well because it's the first on Sunday it's advent season and this year I've done something a little bit different um and I'm trying to be quiet because my boyfriend's in the other room. But I have actually got one of those like reusable advents from Amazon where you fill it with your own things. Um, so I need to set that up. And I've only got like not even half of the amount of things um, because I'm very unorganized. But I thought we could present it to him on Sunday. He can start opening the doors or the little pockets and as the month goes on I'll just have to finish it off without him even realizing it's not done but yeah I thought I'd show you that because it's very cute it's from Amazon and it's probably not too late for you to order one I mean it might be a couple of days late by the time this video goes up but who's counting okay let's get on with decorating because it's going to take probably the rest of the afternoon I'm excited the first year I'm going to need a lot of help because I am currently 23 weeks pregnant on Sunday and everything is a struggle oh, even getting up off the floor speaking of Christmas December the 1st um I am going to be doing vlogmas this year but it'll probably be weekly vlogs or at least a few days at a time because I don't think I have it in me to upload every day um I mean I actually have an excuse this year because of my energy levels but I've not done that for a few years anyway and I really like watching weekly vlogs I feel like um it just makes more sense because I'm not always doing something exciting every day so yes I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs throughout December um and hopefully we can have some fun because I do have a few things planned Right, this is really good. <gasps> I'm gonna do the tree in this corner, which I did last year. Uh, it's between here or here, but I think it's nice over there because people can see it in the window too. Mike just made a point. It's actually a little bit sad, but this is the last time that we're ever gonna put up our Christmas decorations, just us two. But also, exciting. Even more special this year. But I've cleared, I've cleared the space and the tree is gonna go in this corner. Oh, that's the wrong tree. <laughs> what, sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> Just need to, uh, okay, we've got the right tree now. We had the bedroom one, which is quite tall and skinny, so not really the vibe for in here. And I was actually considering getting a real tree this year, um, but I just haven't, haven't got around to it. This tree well, isn't that special. It was supposed to just be a temp one. And this is the fourth year using it, so... There you go. Go. Okay. 
Okay, the lights are on and it's looking very festive. Just started putting some decorations on and what I was gonna say earlier is, for years I have had very neutral decorations and this year I have the urge to add a bit more color. So, God, look at those under eye bags. Um, so I think tomorrow I might pop into town and have a look in B&M for maybe some like red or burgundy decorations. But for now, we'll add these as the base and then tomorrow or over the weekend, we can just continue adding to it. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely in the mood for a bit more color this year, a bit more fun. Yeah, it definitely needs colour, doesn't it? Mm. Do you want to do a listen, we don't judge? Yeah, okay. What would yours be? I'm doing this. Yeah, we'll listen, we don't judge. Okay. You go first. Yeah. We listen and we don't judge. We listen and we got to say it together. We listen. We listen and we don't judge. We listen and we don't judge. I'm trying to think. Listen and you go first. No, you go first. No, you. The way you. No, it's about what you do. Oh. What? Yeah. The way I what? What's going to say? The way you stand used to give me the. Okay. The key is used to. Yeah. We listen and we don't judge. I feel like you've got loads. Your turn. <laughs> I actually get really annoyed when <laughs> you unload the dishwasher and everything's in stupid places. Keep trying your toes. No, it's annoying. Right, it's time for the star now. Oh, you you we listen and we don't judge. You're too heavy handed, you know. No. That one is from Paper Chase, I think. Special, isn't it? Um, Special. Yeah, it's just like really mm. nice. Right, we are on to the second tree. This one is in the bedroom. And this is the fun tree. So it's got loads of, I think people call them novelty decorations. Um, and yeah, they're just really fun, colourful ones. And like food, drinks, coffees, things that I like. Um... And yeah, we're just decorating this one now. There's two in there. Lone dog. Caravan. Cupcake. Yep. There's two cupcakes. And... Oh, it's free. Gin. Let the celebrations be gin. Avocado. Brussels sprout and a Christmas decoration. Post office. Oh, I love that one. That one's expensive. That's from a garden centre. Oh, it's a telephone box, yeah. not a post office. There you go. Is it leaning forward a bit? <laughs> Maybe a tiny bit, but that we can do that another day. Have you Good had job. <laughs> no, I want to do like stuff that isn't the tree. Yeah. Like what? Like reindeers and stuff. We've only got one reindeer. <laughs> right, let me give a closer look. Right, so this is this tree is from B and M. B and M, yeah. Um, this is what it's looking like, and I just love the funness of it. I prefer it. Yeah, I get it, but I think once oh. we add. Once we add um, colour to the other tree, that one will be fun too. Okay guys, so since doing the last tree, I've just put up some ornaments. This is, God, I have no idea where this stuff is from. It's so old now. I think this is Home Sense. This little candle I actually painted at an event last year. So I've got that up. I don't know what's on the TV at the moment. <laughs> We've moved this little side table, which is usually next to the TV here. Um, and I've just popped a little Christmas candle on. And I've got a little Christmas tree on there. So that is done for now. There is stuff everywhere because we are still in the middle of it. I've got some stockings hanging on the door. 
Um, what else? I've got this little glittery garland around the TV. Little Christmas tree is from Primark, I think. And you pop a tea light in the back, so I need to do that. This little house, I think, is from Home Sense as well. It's also a candle. That's just the lid that comes off. And then I've just swapped this candle out for a neutral one. And this is another candle that I'll probably never burn because it's too pretty. And this was a gift um, last year. So that is how we're looking on the ornament side of things. Oh, you can see the tree in the background. Okay, it is a little bit later and we ordered an Indian takeaway, which Mike will be chuffed with because we've not had one in ages. I have really not wanted one. Um, from, I've been craving more like uh, hearty meals, like roast dinners. Anything with gravy is usually what I've been wanting, but I kind of didn't mind Mm. the idea of this today I've been seeing people eat it on TikTok start craving what you see on TikTok so I'm actually looking forward to this a chicken bolti masala and some samosas which I'm most looking forward to but let's plate up and I'll show you what we got right we've got pilau rice I'm just going to start with a little bit sagaloo thank you did you just bite that? No. <laughs> Hope it didn't come like that. This is the Bolti Masala. Let's try it. I'm intrigued. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Two? No, just one. Compared to a usual masala, that's actually got a little bit more flavour. I think that's everything that I want. Is there yoghurt in there? Mint sauce. I'm going to start with that and see how we get on. That's quite a big portion, to be honest. That is a perfectly reasonable big portion. So this is dinner. And this is Ooh, yours right? dinner. Your dinner. What's your, what have you got? I usually get, you know what I usually get? Yeah, but what have Vindaloo, you got? Vindaloo, but I asked for a Madras Vindaloo hot. Oh, is it nice? It's not, yeah, it's really different though. But, yeah. Nice. Good morning everybody. I think it's actually afternoon now that I'm saying that out loud. But it is now the next day, it's Saturday, and I have already been up and out today. I went to B&M to get some more decorations for the tree, and this is what I found. Um, to be honest, I'm not like absolutely in love with them, but I left it pretty late to get some more decorations. And these are the sorts of colors I was going for. So in here we've got a pack of 50 different uh big ball balls i really like the darker red um as opposed to like the brighter ones but i'll see i'll see how it goes and then we've also got like some red or like burgundy stars and this was only 10 pounds which i thought was pretty good and i was actually really happy that there was some stuff left because i kind of expected the shelves to be empty and then i just got some more larger just another pack of six um, again, darker red ones, which were only four pounds. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna start adding those to the tree in a minute. I also picked up this wrapping paper from B&M. I was gonna vlog in there, but as you can imagine, the first weekend of December was just, you couldn't really move in there. Um, so I was gonna actually do a bit of a bigger shop, but I just thought I can't, <laughs> I can't. It's too, too busy for me. I would go back maybe in the week um, because yeah, Saturday, was just not it but I found this really cute wrapping paper which I had to grab because it just was so cute and I thought it'd be perfect to wrap up my niece's presents and it's quite a chunky roll as well which is good I say wrap up presents but I've literally got no presents I've got zero presents yet so maybe I'm gonna do that today as well but this is eight meters of wrapping paper on my travels I went to prep and I picked up the Christmas what is it the Christmas lunch baguette, which is actually so good. I've had this before. So it is the baguette with turkey, pork stuffing, with turkey, pork stuffing, cranberry and pork sauce topped with crispy onions. 
Um, it says in brackets bones may remain, which I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're quite high up. Is that better? Um, yeah, it says bones may remain. Interesting. And it also says contains alcohol. But I'm assuming <laughs> that would have been burnt off. Um, yeah, anyway, we're going to eat it. So, yeah, it says I'm back by popular demand and I did have this a couple of weeks ago. And thoroughly enjoyed it, so here we are. Yum. Um, yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I am going to start filling out the tree with the red. I might pop on another little Christmas film this afternoon. It is just me today. Mike's gone to spend the day with his friends. I think Arsenal are playing later on, so they're going to watch that. It's just me today. But to be honest, I have quite a lot to do. And I do want to do his advent calendar as well. So it's worked out well because um, it's the first tomorrow. So I can give him that tomorrow. So... Yeah, I will come back when we are decorating the tree. Okay, so I have another Christmas film on. This is the Lindsay Lohan one. <laughs> Um, just another Netflix Christmassy one, you know the drill. But I have added the red to the tree and I love it. I think it adds so much more life. Um, and I'm really glad I've done this because, I mean, from now on, I suppose there's gonna be a lot more color um, from having kids, which I actually really like. And I there's a lot of like jokes online about being, um, a beige mom and like influences being really boring and I've been guilty of that for a long time and to be honest in the grand scheme of things I'm still very boring I mean this is still oh this is still not that colorful it's only red um these look really dark on camera but they're just like a maroon color but this is a big deal for me having red in my tree so yeah this is the tree all finished i love it it definitely looks a lot more festive oh the sofa's a mess because i've been sat on it but one thing i forgot to do yesterday is change my cushion covers which currently have pumpkins on them so i need to get the christmas ones out cushions are changed lit some more candles um on the little coffee table so I've got Christmas tree and this one says, may your holidays be merry and bright. I'm pretty sure all of my seasonal cushions are from Amazon. I will try and find them and link them below. Um, what else? I put up the wreath as well, which is just on this plastic um, door hanger, I suppose you call it. Just hooks onto the back of the door and it looks seamless, which I love um got these little stars well quite big stars i've got one here i think i've still got one in the cupboard these are from b and m i want to say but a few years ago and they're very sparkly and this is the overview of the living room i think we're pretty much done to be honest in the hallway i have this christmas tree from home sense uh, this plant is here all year round with fairy lights and then I've just got this garland um, which is actually just two mini ones and I just kind of tuck them either side. Um, I think these are also from Home Sense, and yeah that is how we're looking and this is how I look today because I've not put any makeup on or made an effort in the slightest. Okay, I thought I would show you the advent calendar and start putting it together, ready for tomorrow. This is how it came in this bag. I need to figure out what the poles are for. I know it's for hanging it up, but I need to figure out how it actually goes together. Um, I didn't realize it was gonna be this big, <laughs> to be honest, but this was the nicest one I could find. A lot of the other ones, um, I just didn't really like the look of and this is an investment it wasn't super expensive but it also wasn't super cheap again i'll try and link it down below um but this is something that i will keep for years and it will be so great for the little kids it's huge it is huge it is 
probably yeah that is it on the floor it comes up to my head so i'm thinking to hang it on the back of a door when i've actually got it all up um, and put together but i love it i think it's so nice so each day has a little pocket and they're actually quite big so you can fit decent sized things in there and obviously i've just bought really cheap and random things there's nothing extravagant extravagant going in here because it is just an advent um yeah there's i think i've got some chocolates um and then just a few other random bits but it just makes an advent calendar a little bit more exciting um than a chocolate one so yeah I'm really excited about this. Let's put it together. I'm also sat on my um, ball. I've got a ball, which is a birthing, birthing ball um, from Amazon. I got it because I've been going to pregnancy yoga and we sit on them. Um, I have no idea how this goes. Um, but it's actually so comfortable to just sit on and do random jobs. And it's handy to have a seat. Right, let's try and figure this out without having to read some instructions because who wants to read instructions? Oh, I think I've done it. That was actually really easy. I don't know why I thought that was going to be really hard. Um, okay, so I think you just thread this through these loops. But that is how it's going to hold up and then yeah hopefully it will hook onto something like that yay right let's put this on the door and then we can start putting stuff in it okay this is where i've hung it up i am just recording a little video for other socials of me filling it but so far i just love the placement because when he comes in it will be right in front of him because the front door is here so it will be staring at him right in the face and he'll be like what the hell is this um but yeah, I have already filled, um, I've already filled some of them with chocolates. These are just going to, oh, <laughs> these are just going to be my backups in case I've run out of ideas. Yeah, I just thought I'd set you up whilst we fill the rest and he doesn't watch my videos. So we're all good. He won't find out what's in here <laughs> unless he actually sneaks a peek himself so in number one i'm gonna pop these um hero patches because he was asking me this morning if i have any of these he loves them for a good old blemish so i'm gonna pop those in number one because he literally wanted them today so he'll be chuffed with that i'll try and get his reaction as well opening the first one um number two i've put a chocolate in number three I think I'm going to put this in. I got this from Flying Tiger. Um, yeah, Flying Tiger. I thought that would be the perfect shop to find things. Um, and I didn't find as much as I wanted, but I was in a bit of a rush. So I might go back next time I'm in London. But this is a fidget ball. And this is right up his street. Um, he has ADHD. Not just because of ADHD, but he is just someone that would love the fidget ball. To be honest, I've been playing with it through the little gap and... <laughs> It's really fun, really random. It was pretty cheap. So we're going to put this in number three, I think. Number four, I just got these tissues from Flying Tiger. They're just Santa tissues. You can never have too many tissues. They're very handy. Number five is a chocolate. Number six, I'm going to pop a hand cream in. He always complains about his dry hands as well. Number seven, I got this little nail clipper. Again, all of these all of these little presents are stuff that he's always asking me for. So I got this little set from Flying Tiger as well, which is just um, nail clippers. And it's actually got a little magnifying glass on it. And then the last two things I've got, I'm actually undecided whether to keep this and put it in a stocking, in his stocking. Um, I think I will. I think I'm going to save this because it's actually quite a good present and yeah i might save it i just got it in b m today it is the catchphrase card game and he loves catchphrase but for day number i'm thinking to save this for a good day and then just top up the rest so i've got 
one to eight sorted, um, which is last will last me for the week, as well as some scattered chocolates down the bottom. Um, so yeah, I can just get more stuff in the week to top up the rest, but I think I'm gonna put this one in Christmas Eve because it is probably the best one and the one that he'll love the most. And it is salami with truffle. <laughs> and he is actually much more of a savory guy rather than sweet. Um, he does like the odd chocolate here and there, but he would choose salami over anything. So I'm gonna put this in number 24 because that will go down the treat. Right, that is all I'm gonna do for now, but I think it looks so cute on this door. So, it's leaning to one side. I think that's because it's uh, heavier on one side. <laughs> but yeah, that is that I've been done for now. Also, whilst I am in the hall with light, here's a little bump update. Um, it's so rock solid at the moment. I've just eaten, but I am 23 weeks tomorrow. So this is what we're looking like. And no, we don't know the gender, still don't know. Any guesses, leave them below. I think, I don't know what I think. I keep changing my mind. I think if someone said like, your gut gut instinct, what are you having? I'd probably say girl, but that is only because of the way that I'm carrying. I feel like I feel, I feel like I look really wide. Um, and I've filled out like everywhere. <laughs> Whereas boy bumps are usually, or supposed to be, um, according to old wives' tales, more like up front. God, I'm out of breath talking. What are your guesses? I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm gonna try and get an early night tonight. I was so shattered last night. It's Sunday tomorrow. I do have um, a makeup job in the morning, which I've got to get up for pretty early as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna say, Good night. Thank you for watching. Let me just sit down whilst I say bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys got in the Christmas spirit with me. I definitely feel so much more festive now that I've got my decorations up and I've been watching some Christmas movies and I can't believe that tomorrow is the first, the first of December. Um, so yeah, look out for my first week of Vlogmas. And I'm gonna try and upload this for you tomorrow as well because I've not posted on YouTube in a while. So yeah, if this goes up tomorrow, then happy Sunday. <laughs> Hope you're having a nice day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. One more glimpse of the tree. I'm obsessed.